Well, I've wasted enough time and I need to go harvest that kalu. I'm doing that today. Do or die, that's getting done today. Which means that I need to wrap this video up in about five minutes. So let us do this, shall we? Facial wipes that I use often in the morning, in the middle of the day, if my face has gotten flushed or oily or particularly since I don't wear foundation. Which of the females I see wearing foundation, <laughs> very extremely few of you need it. I could use a little something for these dark, see? My face is not really that dirty. That's my hand back there. That's not grime. That's pretty good considering I haven't washed my face since this morning. What I was telling you guys in the car was, I was basically saying these new Big Shop Beauty Blenders they have y'all convinced to buy, to spend $10 for a little sponge. Ain't nothing but that old school. You know when I used it, I was like, oh, oh, I see. And you know everybody suggests that you have to use it damp. You really, really do. But I noticed how good a job these do softening I want to say mattifying, but matte is matte it gives a kind of drying connotation. But this really uh, softens any shine that you might have, and and any oil too, which made me think this ain't nothing but that old red sponge that your mom and your grandma and them used to use. That's all it is. This ain't nothing but that. And so I used to use the this all the time. And I still do when I don't feel like looking for my beauty blenders, but most of the time I have something. Anyway, I'm just taking you guys through all the different routes my mind went through as I settled on something for my face. I used to take blotting sheets on set with me, and you can get them anywhere. And the blotting sheets, these particular ones are blue. I like that they were blue so you can see and what how much oil you get off your face do you get any and if your face is real oily you can actually see the oil come through the blotting sheet yeah I'm actually pretty good right now cuz of all that dabbing I just did with with the beauty blender now in the meantime of me discovering beauty blenders which I found to be just a technical upgrade for your grandmama Nim's red sponge I then found these cute little doodads this these cute numbers right here and I thought those were adorable because as it's obvious I, my issues are with, with my under eye circle so I was going to try to use you know concealer and foundation on my under eye circles that didn't work out too good cuz then it just looked like I had makeup only on my under eye circles so you can't I mean it looks smooth but if you if I'm gonna wear it here I'm gonna need to wear it all over my face and I'm not doing it that's not gonna be me so these were very adorable to me for a multitude of reasons because they're so little and cute would fit right there nicely under my eye and this middle one is purple and we all know how I feel about that also convenient so while I'm using one I can ha be washing and drying one of the other two now today I messed around and found this so I will need I will no longer have any further use for blotting sheets I don't believe oh yes I will so the only use that I will now have for blotting sheets is if I'm on set and someone needs to use my beauty sponge. Now for the longest, I've always felt like, wouldn't it be nice if someone had this? Because I always, I even tried cutting this in fourths because I was like, I would like to have this, but I would like it in a small compact size. Like if I could have this, now by now, I'm I'm knowing I'm designing the perfect facial sponge for myself, and it looks just like this with the new advanced body uh, beauty blender.
texture you know how soft that is but it still does the absorbing job that this does so in my head this this would be the perfect size of this made with this texture and do what this does in my perfect practical beauty world we would have a beauty blender sponge that would just be a small sphere that would fit right in your hand and you could use and in fact come in an adorable little compact why girl did I find this today why I should have known it usually when I invent something it's been invented but I don't always come across it so this is the compact by Revive the how to use it has instructions on the back and it also has air vent there you can see that there's an air vent there's a sticker on, on the vent that gives you instruction on how to use. Use dry sponge to gently dab slash pat skin. Do not wipe. Hand wash as needed. Use dry sponge. Mm -mm, not when you're using it to apply makeup, but that won't be me. So, yeah, use dry sponge for me. For best results, keep between sponges. Do not throw away. So this sponge was on top. And there's a plastic, this plastic piece here that is separating the other sponge. Now this is all me. This is my idea. This is exactly my idea, but larger. I wonder if I could smush one of my, my baby blenders in here. Nah, it's not going to work. Adorable, right? Let me do this again just because I don't know if I showed all my business with this mirror. So you have this first sponge here. And then there's a plastic piece in in the middle that says do not throw away and keep it between the sponges and here is your other one there are two in here so that is adorable I had to have that so this is my idea I just need you guys to make this uh, 50 per, about yeah 50 percent smaller and then we in the house but right but for the time being I'm all I'm gonna roll around the universe with this uh, 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 uh. Okay. I guess basically what I'm saying is I just need you to get this right here, boo boo, and just get a little container for it. Okay. I just assessed. I was like, you and your, you done invented this, but then you went and picked up this, which is your invention, but a bigger size. But this is exactly the size you need. You just need a little compact that carries it around with you. So, yeah. And this also says replaces blotting papers, washable and reusable. So that is actually the market for these, to re replace blotting papers. But girl, the trifecta is it. You know what? I have a case for this. Even if I use this, right? And then I could put two in here. Let's put my charging, my earbud charger in there. Yeah, that would be great. That's what I'm going to do. And take my charger out there out of there since I have never not once in my life used that for that Ooh, all three of them go in there really cute there we go I should probably put them in some plastic too but I'm not gonna do it or should I okay sanitation wins Ooh, but what I'm not gonna do is seal this completely I mostly just don't want to get makeup or to touch this to my face without it being protected by something first. So, so yeah, I just talk myself through that. 